Good morning, traders. My name is Frank Cholly. I'm a senior market strategist at RJO Futures in Chicago. And today, Friday, May 9th, I'm giving you your weekly update metals market commentary. My primary focus is always going to be on the gold first, and then the silver and the copper. And we can't talk about gold without looking at the outside markets. Gold is that um, one commodity that likes to sometimes be a safe haven. Sometimes it trades like a currency. Uh, other times it's the inflationary hedge. So the outside markets are key to giving some direction, and then the technicals come in after that. Uh, we got little changes uh, today. You know, dollar's up 38. That's a pretty good change there, but that's a short covering rally. The dollar's been getting crunched pretty good lately, and the gold hasn't really been getting a bounce out of that. So we see it's not really trading the currency right now. Equities are down about six. That's not much of a change there. Crude oil's up only 40 cents. So again, the outside markets aren't really giving any direction here. Gold is up about $4 at 12.92. So this gold market right now is in a sideways channel. It's trying to get some direction and waiting for something to happen in the outside markets. Either we need a more steady, consistent diet of good economic news to drive the market higher on the inflation trade, or maybe, uh, you know, the fear trade, the safe haven trade of something, God forbid, you know, happens uh, in the world that drives people out of the uh, treasuries and the equities and into the gold for the safe haven, then we could see the market rally on that. But for the time being, gold is tra uh, trading both sides of 1300. That's a very pivotal level right now. Uh, the 200 day moving average is also right in there around uh, 1298 or 1300. So uh, right now the market, um, again, it's a very tight range, maybe six or seven dollars only today. It's at 1292. Up at 1300, there's a little bit of uh, resistance. We get a pop good punch or close above 1300 then maybe um after that we can look at 1330 1325 area and uh support side light support down around 1285 better support around 1275 right now it feels like at least technically the path of least resistance might be a little lower so 1250 is not out of the question but i think we're, we're probably likely to remain uh range bound for the time being in the silver uh july contract trading uh, just above $19. I think the market um, is trying to build a base of support right around this uh, $19 level, uh, 18 dollars 19 19 10 Right in there, the market should probably find some buyers. On the upside, resistance comes in around 1940 to 1950 range. So we need to break out of this uh, sideways trend in the metals, up or down, um, longer term. I'm still, you know, more bullish on the metals. And, um, you know, we'll just have to keep an eye on things, see how it goes. If you'd uh, like to, you could send me an email. Um, give me a call. My number is 800-826-4124. And as always, remember that trading commodity futures does involve substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Thank you.